All right, guys, so it's that time of year if your son or daughter is in Scouts. It's Pinewood Derby season, so I wanted to share some tips and tricks that I use to get a really fast car with you guys. All right, guys, so let's talk about the shape of your Pinewood Derby car. Now, there's tons of different examples out there on the internet that you can look up. Some crazy designs. There's some really sleek, cool designs. But these are the two designs that I've found that perform the best for us and have given us first and second place wins consistently. So this is a classic wedge style car here. And we used this one last year. We got second place with this car. But this one right here is kind of modeled after like an F1 racer car, right? And this is one that I kind of I took the idea from another design on the internet and we kind of modified it to kind of fit our own taste. This car right here, this was our 2022 car. This placed first place. We ended up going to districts with this car. And I, I think we ended up placing like third in districts because there's some pretty fast cars out there. Now this is the same design that we're using this year in 2024 with some modifications. We actually made the car a little bit thinner and a little more aerodynamic. The one important thing, no matter what your car looks like, is the front of your car. So there's a peg on the Pinewood Derby track that the car sits on that releases to let your car go down. You wanna make sure that you have enough surface area on the front here for that car to be able to hold itself up on that pin while it's waiting to start the race. When trying to figure out the weight of your car, obviously you want to measure the total overall weight and the Pinewood Derby rules say that it can't be above five ounces. So this car is about 4.99. So how do I get it to 4.99 ounces? This right here, this is a tungsten canopy weight. And you can buy these on Amazon. They come in different sizes. This is a three and a half ounce weight. And then also this stuff right here, you can see I can put a thumb into that. This is putty, but it's not just any normal putty. This is tungsten putty, and it allows you to fine tune the weight of your car. You wanna make sure no matter what your car looks like, you're at five ounces. All right, now we need to talk about weight placement. Now, where you place the majority of your weight on your car is a huge, huge determining factor on how fast your car is going to be two cars that are five ounces going down the track they're going to fall at that same exact rate because they weigh exactly the same but once that car gets to the bottom of the track the car that has its mass located further back is actually going to be faster now if you check out mark rober's video he explains this in detail so what we do to accomplish that is we measure about an inch in front of the rear axle and that's going to be the center of our weight where we want all of our weight concentrated. So one other tool that we like to use is this axle guide. So this comes with a very small drill bit and it has multiple holes here for different axle heights or positions. And these two screws loosen up and you clamp this against your car. And basically what we do before the wheels are installed is we install this over the block and this is basically just a guide for the drill bit to be able to drill in and have your axles from front to back perfectly parallel with each other and not skewed from side to side and that will ensure that your car will run straight. Now there are people that say riding the rail will make your car a little bit faster and what we do for that is we actually will bend the axles and I'll show you that now. Now speaking of bent axles, I found this 3D print file online. I'll share a link down in the description and I printed this right on this 3D printer right here. And what you do is you take your axle, you insert your axle into this tool here like this and you lift this up. And this puts a couple degree bend in the axle. And what that does is really important. When your car is running down the track, you don't want the inside hub this piece right here, you don't want the inside hub of your car riding against the actual car itself. You want that riding against the inside of your axle. And that's gonna make your car a lot faster. One more tip on the axles here. Now, these are basically just a nail, and from the manufacturing process, there's tooling marks on these nails. You'll see some little pinch marks in here, and there's a little lip on the inside of the head of the nail here that you need to get rid of. You can buy a polishing kit like this. This comes with a little jeweler's file and some different sandpapers. 
Now you can do the same thing if you have a bunch of different grit sandpapers and a small file yourself. And what I, what I like to do is I put this in a drill. You'll notice the spot that's not polished right here. That's the part that's in the chuck of the drill. And we spin this in the drill really fast and we take that jeweler's file and we go back and forth until the tooling marks are gone from the shaft of the nail and behind the head of the nail. And then we'll take 400, 600, 800, 1200, and 2000 grit sandpaper and wet sand these. While this is still in the drill, we'll spin it up fast again and we'll sand this body of the nail until we get this mirror-like finish. Now there's all different kinds. You can buy stuff that people use on like their locks of their cars. This is XLR8 Ultra Graphite and this is very, very fine powder. That's the difference between this and a normal graphite tube that you can buy on like an auto parts store. Now, if I take a stock wheel here, this wheel has not been modified. This axle is polished, but there's no graphite in here. Just watch the amount that this spins. It spins for quite a long time, but compare that to this. This has a tiny bit of graphite inside of it. Now that's gonna be a night and day difference between you getting first, second, or third place. All right, so I wanna talk about lathed wheels. And what lathing means is basically taking some of the inside thickness of this wheel and removing it. Now this is the stock BSA wheel that comes in the Pinewood Derby kit. And if you look at how thick this edge is here, Compared to this one, you notice this one's much thicker. Now, what I like to do is I have a special mandrel that almost looks like one of those cutoff tools and a Dremel tool, and this wheel gets installed onto that mandrel. We put that mandrel into a drill, and then we spin this, and I take uh, like a hobby knife, like an X-Acto knife, and I press that knife to the inside race of this wheel here, and it basically lathes this wheel down, it thins it out. What does lathing do to the wheel besides removing some material? It makes the wheel lighter, and that's gonna lead to a faster car. Also on the outside here, the stock BSA wheel, there's actually a lip right here. There's a little lip if you run your nail on it. While this is still in that mandrel is I will take a wood chisel and I will hold the drill down on a bench and I'll spin this really fast and I'll bring a wood chisel kind of parallel, the edge of the wood chisel parallel to this wheel and I'll bring it in and I'll shave down a bunch of the outside of this here. It's not like super, super significant, but it's just enough where this is perfectly flat on the outside. And then I'll take some 400 and 600 grit sandpaper and then spin it and polish this up really well. And you could also even use like a plastic polish on here and a rag if you want. Alright, guys, we get a big round of applause for everyone.